Welcome to episode 4 of Battlefield 1 Captured, the series where you tell me what you want to know and you get to win some cool prizes as well. This week is all about the best weapons to use in different classes and different situations, always a popular topic. Who doesn't want to be using the best weapons, am I right? Last week though, one of you lucky viewers got their hands on an Xbox One S Battlefield 1 bundle, one of three. Congratulations to Gerardo, I hope you enjoy it. But there are still two bundles up for grabs across the rest of the series. So make sure you stay tuned each Friday to be in with a chance of winning. So then, the best weapons. Each weapon in Battlefield 1 is unique in its own way, will work better in some situations and not so well in others. I think it's important to know what weapons suit different styles of play, and so today we'll take it class by class to see where they are meant to operate, and then see if we can find some good overall weapons that fit that role perfectly. I'll cover off the pistols as well, that'll be a separate section at the end. First of all then, the Assault class. As we know from Episode 2, this guy is our Demolition Man. He's there to provide the fireworks on the battlefield and blow stuff up. Most of these explosive gadgets, however, require you to be in close range of your target, and therefore close range weapons are the order of choice. You can pick from a group of SMGs and shotguns, and from my testing, I'd say the MP18 Trench SMG and the Model 10A Hunter shotgun are the weapons that you should be using. It really depends on whether you prefer the shotguns or the SMGs here, that's a personal choice only you can make, but both of these guys are going to help you dominate. The MP18 Trench is specifically balanced to be a hipfire beast, and it ranges out to about 20 meters or so, this thing is going to net you some serious kills. It's perfect, as the name suggests, in the trenches on St. Quentin Scar, and even in the town on Suez as well. The Model 10A Hunter has some great range on it, perhaps a little bit too much in my opinion, but hey, if it's there and it's good, you're going to use it, am I right? The shotgun will allow you to drop players in one shot up close, but try and keep that reticule on the centre of mass on the player in front of you. Shotguns fire pellets, so some might miss if you're not accurate enough and you will need to follow up. Next up we have the Medic. This guy operates at a bit longer range using semi-automatic rifles for the most part to take down players before swooping in to revive fallen teammates. Depending on the range that you want to work with, you'll have to try out some different variants here, but you can't go wrong with the Selbstlader M1916. With the Marksman variant, you can suppress and even take out longer range scout players on the enemy team, but it's got enough bullets in the magazine to get the job done up close too. The Medic isn't an up close and personal class, but sometimes you just have to spam the button and you're going to get the kill that you're looking for. If you're really wanting that long range game style though, then I'd say take the Mondragon Marksman, as it can fire a little bit faster than the Selbstlader overall, and sometimes following up with a second or third shot is going to get you the kill that you're looking for. When it comes to support, like most other classes, I feel there are two standout winners here. First up we have the MG15 Suppressor, with a massive 200 round magazine on it, and good focus fire after that initial inaccuracy that all LMGs have, and we have the Bar Storm. And really, it depends on how you want to play the class. The bar suits are more run and gun play style, almost the assault rifle feel of past battlefield games. And the MG15 is purely built for firing bullets downrange to keep enemies suppressed for as long as possible. Both do their job really well, but I favour the bar overall, not least because it's dressed up in that fancy doughboy camo, but the MG15 can overheat if you fire it for too long. That's something you need to watch out for. And last up for the classes, we have the Scout, and here, take the M1903 Springfield, either the Marksman or the Sniper variant, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. The Marksman is probably where you're going to find most use for it, but the M1903 has a slightly longer sweet spot over other bolt action rifles, but if you do pick the Sniper variant, you'll want to make sure you're on the longer range maps, as the zoom on the optic 
won't be great for anything up close. Steer clear of the experimental version. It's not really a bolt action rifle, it's the semi automatic option in the Scout class. I got really confused the first time I tried to use it. It is a totally different weapon to the Marksman and the Sniper variants. And lastly, we have the pistols. My picks would be the iconic M1911. It's a great all rounder, it performs really well alongside any weapon, really, in any class. You've also got the Mars Automatic, that's great as well. It's basically the World War I Deagle, and with it sitting in the Scout class, it makes a great follow-up weapon. And finally, the Howder Pistol for the Assault class. It's a pistol shotgun with four barrels. I mean, come on, how could you not like that? All of these weapons are fairly easy to obtain and unlock through the normal class progression. I didn't pick any of the end of class weapons, specifically because they take a lot longer to unlock. And so that brings an end to our fourth episode now of Battlefield 1 Captured. Make sure you head over to the Battlefield 1 Captured website. The link is on the screen right now, or you can click it in the description and go and vote so you can tell me what you want to know about Battlefield 1 next. Also, you can enter our giveaway for those awesome Xbox One S Battlefield 1 bundles as well. Answer the question on the Battlefield 1 Captured site correctly, and you could be in with a chance of winning. You need to click the video at the top of the Battlefield 1 Captured website, right at the top of the page, to answer the question. There's still two bundles up for grabs, and we've got plenty of episodes left to go. So make sure you stay tuned each Friday for the next one. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.